while it is my intention in every other interaction I share with you to treat you as my peer. Let me deviate from that to say that you and I are in fact unequal. So what are lipids made of? Fatty acids, yes. We may have been in the same program in school, and you're quite possibly getting the same GPA as I, but does that make us equal? I did not, for example, grow up in a world that discouraged me from focusing on hard science. Nor did I live in a society that told me not to get dirty. Hi, good morning, guys. Good morning. Or said I was bossy for exhibiting leadership skills. All right, it's good to work. In grade school, I never had to fear being rejected by my peers because of my interests. I was not bombarded by images and slogans telling me that my true worth was in how I look and that I should abstain from certain activities because I might be thought too masculine. I was not overlooked by teachers who assumed that the reason I did not understand the tough math or science concept just was as smart as anyone else here. After all, because of my gender. I have had no difficulty whatsoever with a boys club mentality. And I will not face added scrutiny or remarks of my being the diversity hire. When I experience success, the assumption of others will be that I earned it. I've come to see that my road has been easier than yours. In every possible way. So, you and I cannot be equal. You have already conquered far more to be in this field than I will ever face.